Okay all, this will be our 13th video in React Redux series and in this we are going to see how to create multiple reducers in Redux. In our previous session, we have understood the scenario. Inside library, we have one shelf for book and we have one shelf to just keep 3D models. Now we are going to implement and previously we have seen librarian will be acting as a reducer. So in this, the newly hired person will be acting as another reducer. So for both, we are going to create separate reducers. Before that, let's work on single reducer and let's find out whether we are able to get the result or not. I have opened my Visual Studio code and previously we have created the store and we have dispatched the action. And I already mentioned create store is deprecated in Redux because we have one more library Redux toolkit Inside that, we have configure store method which has replaced this create store. Once we learn about toolkit, then you will understand about configure store. As of now, we are only learning about Redux, so we have to use create store to create the store. Okay, previously we have dispatched all the actions and also we have seen the result. So now, what I will be doing instead of creating one more reducer for 3D model. Inside the same reducer, I am going to perform the action. So first step, inside initial state, number of models. As of now, in my library, I am having only 20 models. So I have just written first step. Second, we are creating action type by model. Or in, in library, basically, we don't buy books, we borrow books. So instead of buy book, you can write borrow book or you can write buy book. It's completely fine. This is only for explanation purpose. Buy model and here also I'm just going to copy the same thing and here I will be pasting that. As of now, we are not working on payload. I will be removing this payload from here. This is our action created. So in the same way, for 3D model, I'm just going to create action model. And inside this, I am just going to return the same thing by model. I will copy and here I will be pasting. What I have done, first I have initialized this. In my library, I am having 20 models. I have created the action type so that whenever I call this one, I will not be making any spelling mistakes. So I have just created constant for that. So whenever I pass this inside the type, Directly I can pass this without giving single quotes or double quotes. As of now I have two action created. One is for by book and one is for by model. And inside this by book we are having the type as by book. And inside this by model we are having the type as by model. Okay three steps we have done. Assigning the initial state. Creating action type and creating action creator. Now inside this reducer. Same way, I am just going to add one more case. Copy. Below this, I will be pasting. Instead of by book, I will give by model. And here, I will just change this one. Instead of number of books, I will give number of models. Copy. Paste. And I just want to decrease the number of models by one if the student is buying from the library. And if I am not having anything, if no action is performed, default state will be returned and here we are just returning the copy of the state if we are having any payload or any extra information i don't want to change that information i just want to return the same thing only whatever data is getting updated or whatever data it is getting reduced i just want to update that one okay now we have done four steps initial state action type action creator and we have added one case inside the reducer. Let me just format this one. Now we have already created the store. Inside this we have passed the reducer. Now only thing left is we have to dispatch the action. I will be removing this. Okay, let me keep two by book actions. I will copy and two this one by model. I will copy. Paste. Paste. Let me just copy one more time. Two times I have dispatched the action for by book and three times I have dispatched the action for model. I will save this. 
I will open terminal control G. I will just clear this one. I will write node index enter. Now you can see when my book is dispatched, this is the initial state of the book and also the initial state of model is displayed. Now when the book, when by book action is dispatched, only number of book is reduced by 1, my model remains same. Again by book action is dispatched, number of book is reduced by 1 and our models remains the same. Then we have by model, now number of books remains the same but models is decreased by 1. Same way model is decreased by 1. Here also model is decreased by 1 but the number of books remain same. So these are the actions we have performed. Two times we are buying the book and three times we are buying the models. Now inside our library totally we have 198 books present and we have 17 models present. So this is the basic step previously also we have seen. Now what we are going to do, we are going to create multiple reducers. In our scenario we have seen, we have appointed one person only to handle books and we have appointed one person to handle the 3D models. So that we will be creating separate reducers because maybe in future I want to add some more extra things. If I keep on adding this case, the code will become messy and also if something goes wrong, it will be very difficult to find out the mistake. So we will be creating separate reducer. Now we are going to do the changes. This remains the same. Now initial state, I will change this initial state of book. I will copy this one and here I will be pasting initial state of model. From here I will remove book. And from here, I will remove models. Okay, this is the first change we have done. We have created separate initial state for book and for models. Action type will remain same. As of now, I will just remove this action. Action created, we are having two separate action created. That is fine. Now, here I will just change this one. I will write book reducer book reducers i will just remove s from here i will copy the same thing and below this i'm just going to paste the same thing and here i will be writing model reducer and from book reducer i'm going to remove this case rest everything remains same and from model reducer i will be removing this book case you can see now we have created separate reducers. So what we have done, we have created separate reducer for book and separate reducer for model. Now we will be easily able to find out where we are going wrong if we have done something wrong because we are having separate reducers and inside that we are having only for book and inside this model we are having only for model. Till now we have seen how to create two reducers. And also there is one more thing we have to do. We have to pass this initial state. For books I will be passing this initial state. And for model I will be passing this initial state. Till now everything is fine. We have created action type. We have created action created. And also we have created initial states for both. And also two separate reducers are created. But if you remember as I told you in our create store we can pass only one reducer but now we are having two reducers one for book and one for model then how we have to pass inside this create store that we are going to see in the next session but this is the scenario what we will be doing we will be combining all the reducer and we are going to pass that combined reducer in the create store method that i will be showing you in the next session just practice this how to create multiple reducers, how the value should be passed and how the data should be displayed in multiple reducers. Next session, we will see about combining all the reducers.